In this tutorial, we will learn how to define blower air supply groups in BioWin 5.0. Air supply groups are used in the determination of blower power, one of the many new power calculations performed in BioWin 5. Before we define an air supply group, we can specify a global blower power calculation method for a project under Project, Plant, Global Blower Calculation Method. Here we can choose from three options for calculating blower power the adiabatic polytropic power equation, a linear power equation, or a user-defined equation. Detailed technical information about the blower power equations is provided in the blower power section of the Power and BioWin chapter of the manual. Global blower parameters can be specified under Project, Parameters, Aeration Mass Transfer, in the Blower tab. This is where we can indicate pressure losses through the air delivery system, the adiabatic polytropic compression exponent, and blower efficiency which can be set up to vary with airflow. Blower power also accounts for inlet air conditions including temperature and humidity which can now be specified under project, plant, inlet air conditions. Both inlet temperature and humidity can be entered as a constant value or have a scheduled pattern. Air supply groups can be defined for a project under project, plant, air supply group slash blower specs. This is where we can specify whether an aerated element is part of a group of bioreactors or aerated zones that is supplied by a common blower. BioWin will calculate the total air requirements for each zone and the power required to deliver that airflow. Any element that can be aerated may be added to a group of reactors supplied by a common blower thereby contributing to that blower's power requirement. Once a configuration is built, all of the elements that can be aerated, even elements that are specified as unaerated, will be automatically added to an air supply group and will appear in the selected list. If a reactor remains unaerated, it will not contribute to the power calculation of a blower group, but it still must be included in an air supply group. To add a new air supply group, click on the Add button. To delete an air supply group, click the Delete button. Since all of the elements are placed by default in number one air supply group, to place an element into a new air supply group, it must first be removed from the default group. To remove an element, select it and click the left pointing arrow, or simply double click to move it into the available list. The double arrows will move every item at once. If you want a blower group to have parameters that are different from the global blower parameters, or if you want to have a different calculation basis than the global method, then you can click the Edit Blower Specifications button to set local conditions for the specified air supply group in the drop list box. In the Calculate Power for Group Using Radio Button group, we can specify the method for calculating blower power. You can either use the global blower calculation method which is specified in brackets, or choose from the other three available options. You can also specify local blower parameters for the specified air supply group by clicking on the checkbox Local Blower Parameters and clicking on the Edit Local Blower Parameters button. When we are adding a power table or power chart to the album, the air supply groups are listed under the blower power category. For more information on displaying power demand in BioN5, please see the video tutorial entitled Displaying Power Demand and Energy Use in BioWin 5.0. This concludes our tutorial on blower power and defining blower air supply groups in BioWin 5. More information on the new features in BioWin 5.0 can be found on our website as well as in the new help manual. In addition, please check out our video library for additional videos on how to use BioWin.